Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech. And in this video, what we're gonna do is we are gonna be comparing the iPhone XS Max to the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and also I have the S10 over here. And what I wanna do in this video is specifically concentrate on the notch versus the pill-shaped cutout versus the whole cutout. So let's dive in, and here's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm just gonna do some basic things on both of these smartphones. Go to the settings, launch some applications, watch YouTube videos in this portrait orientation, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip these phones over put them in landscape orientation, and then watch videos and also play a game on all three to see which one of these uh, displays is the ideal display for entertainment. And of course, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna show you guys what it feels like to watch movies on a notch, on a pill-shaped cutout, and on a whole cutout. And at the end, you're gonna drop your comments down below, give me your opinions, and I will give you my opinions. So let's do something basic. Let's go to the settings of the iPhone, and then here's the notch right there. And then let's do the same thing on the Galaxy uh, S10 Plus. Go to the settings, and then let's go into the settings of the S10. And as you can see, we've got the notch, the hole cutout, uh, the pill cutout, and the hole cutout. Now, right now, as I look at these phones, the one obviously least intrusive option is the S10 right over here. And I will be honest with you, if the S10 Plus came in the whole cutout style, I'd, I'd probably be a little bit more satisfied, but the pill shape itself is also less intrusive than the notch. So that's that. That's the way uh, the, these things look when you're in the menu. If you go around, if you go up, as you can see, there's a bar that cuts the display right here. And this area continues to stay like that. If I do this over here, again, there's a bar cutout right over here. So nothing so far is getting in the way of the actual pill or the hole or the notch right now. It's only a matter of preference so far which one anybody would prefer in their own right. Now let's go back out. I'm going to launch the YouTube video. We do watch a lot of YouTube videos on our smartphones. Uh, many times we're watching them in this uh, portrait orientation and not the landscape orientation. So let me launch YouTube on all of these three phones and see how that looks like in this orientation. So here's YouTube right there. Uh, then let's go over here, that's one right there, and of course we have this one right here, all prepared and ready to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tap on this button right here uh, and start to play each one of these videos. But before that, there's one thing here that I want to observe. So if you look at the notch, the line cut over here is more preferable to the line cut over here that is uh, connecting directly with the actual pill shape. And over here, it is connecting this line over here is connecting directly at the hole, but over here, it's far away from the notch. So that's, I think, a little bit better implementation as far as the actual YouTube app is concerned, or maybe just make this white as well, so the whole area here blends in. Uh, make this white instead of gray, so this one blends in, all right? So anyway, let's uh, actually play the video, see what happens. So here we have the video, 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 and okay, so this one is running an ad. We're gonna skip there in a second. All right, so that's the volume. So as you can see, on all three phones, they look exactly the same. Uh, the notch, the pill shape cutout, and the hole are completely uh, disappeared on the top uh, using a black bar. Now I do want to let you know really quick before you go crazy, uh, let me just show you that the uh, brightness on the iPhone is set at 50%, night shift is off, true tone is off, and the same is the case on all these smartphones. So we've got 50% right here, let's clear these up and we have 50% uh, on this phone, or, okay, a little bit less, but there we go. So the iPhone, for some reason, does look a little bit less uh, bright as compared to these two smartphones right here, uh, which is just something that I've noticed in the past. All right, but that's how video is going to look in this orientation. Now let's go back here. Let's just uh, launch the phone application, see how those things look. So if I go over here, that's the phone application right there. And then if you launch the application right here, as you can see, uh, again, pretty neat. Again, one thing I like on the iPhone implementation-wise is the fact that this area is all white. So it, it's white going down. But here you've got that search bar on the top that is kind of cutting in there 
uh, and they're, they're very close to the holes, so it's creating a little bit of uh, imbalance in my opinion. Again, you can let me know what you think about that down below, but again, that's the way it's going to look. They all look good, and obviously, one thing is for sure, the maximum intrusion is coming from the iPhone XS Max's notch. The minimum intrusion is coming from this one, and of course, this one, which is the least minimum. Let's go back out. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put these phones into the landscape orientation and watch the same video we were just watching all side by side. And after that, we're going to be playing a game. I want you guys to see how everything looks in full screen. Before we do that, I do want to show you one thing really quickly. If we go to the settings of these smartphones right here, if you go to display, and if you go into the full screen apps, you do have the option to hide the front camera something that I do not recommend. So the corners are still uh, rounded, so that's great, but you get this big black bar on the top that just takes away from all the screen real estate. So you can, you have this option here. You do not have the option built in the phone here. I don't think it's a necessary option, especially if the bar is going to be that thick. And of course, with the iPhone, if you did that, it would still be uh, as thick as to the bottom of the notch, all right? So it's an option that we do have. Anyway, let's get, get out of here. Uh, to flip these phones over and play a YouTube video. All right, so here we have the video playing in this orientation over here. Now, by default, all of these phones are going to have bars on each side, and they're almost equally thick, and so they give you the same uh, aspect ratio on all these smartphones. But of course, you can fill all the screen by simply pinching out on the screen. So let me do that right now, and then we're going to see how it looks with the whole uh, pill, and then of course the actual notch is going to be on this side this time. So let's do that right now. So let's uh, pull this up. Boom. All right. Boom. Boom. So now immediately it is obvious that this one here is the best option for watching video because it has got minimum intrusion on the display. This one is a little bit more, but again, it almost looks like a little logo on the side on the top right, uh, on the top left over here. And then if you look at the notch, uh, either if it's on this way or that side, it is going to look as if it's biting into the display from the side and it's taking more screen real estate than either the hole or the pill. And of course, one more thing that I want to observe here is I actually prefer that there is a, there's space uh, between the black bar and the hole. It just uh, seems more futuristic as opposed to something that just melts into the actual display. The notch, the bezels melt into the actual display and it just doesn't look as advanced as these guys over here. But so far as this uh, viewing is concerned, uh, both of these guys are better in my opinion than the notch, but that's just my opinion. I want you guys to let me know what you think. Now let me just flip this over real quick so I can see it from the other side as well. So that's another way to watch the, uh, the movie. All right, so again, you got the notch, pill, hole. All right, let me know down below, as far as the video is concerned, which one are you guys liking more? All right, so let's pause this and let's go and play a game. I'm going to launch a game and then we're going to see the same, observe the same thing in full screen because nobody wants to watch videos or even uh, play games with big, thick black bars on the side. We do have the option to see full screen if the game or the application allows it. Let's do that. All right, so we have all the games up and running, ready to go. So this is the Asphalt 9 game, the latest game from them. So I'm going to play it on all three screens, but this is the current full screen view. So even at the main menu over here, uh, well, this is not the main menu, but still in the, in the menu section, you've got the full screen layout. And again, the notch, the hole, the pill. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on play over here. Let's, let's get a game rolling. So tap on new and then click next. We're going to have to skip all this because I never really play these games. So let's click next. Tap on that. Click next. All right. So pick a car and we are good to go. Click play and play. All right. So let's see what happens. All right. So right now we have the video view. And as you can see, when you have bars here and here for super wide screen, it does cut into the pill here. That I'm not really happy about and the same thing here a little bit of that pill over here don't have that option but the notch is always present over there cutting into the display so let's go into the actual game because I do want you guys to see everything all right so drifting all right so that's the iPhone then we've got this uh, 
right here, okay? So you can see them playing. So drifting right here. Okay, so we're drifting on that. We're drifting on this. These are tutorials, so we are going to be playing all the tutorials. All right, so absolutely great so far. Let's tap on the nitro, all right, tap on the nitro, and again, you can see them all side by side. Minimum intrusion on the actual gameplay from these two smartphones, a little bit extra intrusion over here, okay? It does look more unnatural as opposed to this guy over here. Uh, that one is finished, and I'm first for some reason. I didn't even play it, but that's fine. That's how easy these game, games are these days, all right? But you get the idea, all right? That's how the games look in the actual play mode, all right? When you go to the menu. So anyway, let me know what you guys think about the notch, hole, pill hole uh, gameplay. All right, so anyway, let me quickly know what you guys think about the uh, gaming experience on these smart homes, uh, smartphones with these displays, all right? So the iPhone is already done, so we're gonna skip that. We're, we're done with the game, so let's get out of here. That's it. So drop your comments down below and let me know what you think in all aspects. Browsing the phone, uh, looking at videos, full screen, and in portrait orientation, and of course, playing games. I will see you in the next video. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.